how to clean your lungs and increase oxygen flow in your body. Our lungs are a vital part of our body. They do a lot for us. Even though many people don't see them as a part of the body we can exercise, there are steps we can take to help them work better. The biggest concern is the air we breathe. It can be contaminated with many different kinds of pollutants. Everything from pollen to chemicals to secondhand smoke that can stay trapped in the air and enter our lungs. Granted, our lungs are mostly self-cleaning organs, but there are certain things we can do to try to help them function at a high level. The best way to do this would be a lung cleanse. It can be very helpful for those dealing with a health condition that causes breathing difficulties. Keep watching to find out what you can do to clean out your lungs and increase your oxygen flow in your body. Before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Number six, get yourself an air purifier. The first thing you need to do when jumpstarting your lungs is ensure that the air you're breathing is pure. Air purifiers can control unwanted odors and make the air in your home more fresh. Not only can it help control pet odors, garbage odors, and cooking odors, but it can also control odors like smoke. They work by filtering spores out of the air and can even filter mold spores in the air of homes. Mold is known to be very dangerous to our health because it can aggravate different types of respiratory conditions, such as hay fever, asthma, and sinusitis. Air purifiers also remove other asthma and allergen triggers. These triggers can include secondhand smoke, dry skin cells, fumes, and many other pollutants, which can make it difficult to breathe. An air purifier has all sorts of benefits that can keep the air you are breathing indoors clean and healthy, whether you have a respiratory condition or not. You can purchase an air purifier that can be placed in individual rooms, or you can invest in a household-wide purifier that will generate air throughout your entire house. Number five, change your house filters. If you notice that you're having trouble breathing on a constant basis in your house, it might be a good idea to check the filters and clean the vents. The most common vents to check would be the ones in your bathroom and your heating and air conditioning vents. Another tip would be to change your furnace filter at least every six months. By changing the filters in your home, you can ensure that you are breathing in pure air and that you're not breathing in any dust particles or other dangerous pollutants that could affect your breathing. There are all sorts of benefits of changing the air filters in your home. Not only do they maintain healthy air quality, but they also help people who have asthma or allergies breathe better. Dirty air filters make the air quality in your home pretty bad for people who have respiratory issues, making their symptoms much worse. And if you have pets, it is even more important to change the air filters in your home. This is because it's very easy for pet dander to accumulate, spreading allergens all throughout your home. Replacing your air filters can prevent the quality of the air in your home from deteriorating. In addition to this, Changing your house air filters regularly will keep energy costs down. This is because clogged air filters have to work harder and use more energy. You'll also extend the life of your HVAC system if you regularly change your filters. Number four, rid of artificial scents. A lot of us might be thinking that we're helping out the air in our homes by making it smell nice with air fresheners, candles, and famous wax candle warmers. But the truth is that those fragrances contain chemicals that can actually harm the lungs. Even the cleaning products that you use in your home can be harmful. The best course of action is to replace those products with all natural products. You never know what ingredients or harmful chemicals are in the artificial air scents you are buying. The same can be said for household cleaning products. You should always read the labels on these types of products to make sure that they're not harmful to your health. It is best to switch to natural products, which won't affect the quality of the air in your home. Speaking of clearing out your lungs, do you need some tips on how to quit smoking cigarettes? Well, keep watching until the end of the video because we'll throw you some tips that might be able to help you figure out how to quit smoking cigarettes once and for all. Number three, enjoy the outdoors. Getting fresh air can help expand the tissues in your lungs 
and keep them functioning properly. You can take it one step further and check the pollution forecast in your area. There's nothing like stepping outdoors and breathing in fresh air. Whether you have a respiratory problem or not, it is always a good idea to go outside and enjoy the outdoors. It is important for both our physical and mental well-being to get physical activity in our lives. And being outdoors, even if it just means going for a walk, is a great way to do it. Get those endorphins pumping. It would be best to avoid exercising when the pollution numbers are high and avoid areas of burning wood or trash. If you're highly concerned about pollution in your area, you could wear an air purifying mask. Number two, breathing exercises. Research and studies have shown that breathing exercises can improve lung function, especially for those who smoke, who have smoked, or who have lung damage from chronic lung disease. There are tools that can help you practice breathing, such as a spirometer. But for those who would prefer using natural exercises, you can try pursed lip breathing and belly breathing. Another great breathing exercise is meditation. It is a great way to practice your controlled breathing, and it also has all sorts of mental health benefits. It can help you focus on your breathing, relieve stress, and get you into a more relaxed state of mind. Meditation is historically known to be able to relieve anxiety and stress. So if you want to practice your breathing methods and also get your mind off things in your life that are causing you stress, try meditation. All you have to do is find a quiet place, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing. When thoughts start to come into your mind, bring them back to your breathing. This will help you focus your mind. Go ahead and try it out. Number one, practice percussion. For those who are not aware of this technique, percussion can help drain out the lungs. How it works is you lie down with your head lowered and have your back tapped lightly, working from top to bottom. Most patients that deal with cystic fibrosis or pneumonia practice percussion and postural drainage using this technique. Risks and warnings. It needs to be said that there's not a lot of research behind these products and techniques that claim to cleanse the lungs. But the best way to help your lungs is avoid the dangers that are in front of them. Do not pick up the bad habit of smoking and avoid areas that have high levels of pollution. Before you use any lung products, make sure that you consult with a doctor first. Positive Outlook According to WebMD, for better lung health, the best thing you can do is start with prevention and make healthy life choices. For example, start by quitting smoking if you're a smoker, exercising on a regular basis, and eating a nutritious diet. If you do all three of these things, your lungs stand a much better chance of functioning properly than they would if you didn't do them. Now, here are some tips on quitting smoking that may be able to help you kick that nasty habit. Nicotine Replacement Therapy Quitting cold turkey can give you nicotine withdrawal symptoms like headaches and mood swings. Try nicotine gum, patches, or lozenges to help improve your chances of quitting once and for all if you go cold turkey. Stay active. Physical activity can help curb those pesky nicotine cravings and even help with the withdrawal symptoms. Every time you get a craving for a cigarette, try going on a jog or performing some kind of physical activity. It doesn't even have to be too strenuous. A walk will do the trick as well. Are you or were you a smoker? What are some tips you have to quit smoking or clear out your lungs? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.